Hello my fellow humans and welcome back to another daily dice where we ask a dice for a message and find out what that is. Keeping in mind that these are general readings, so please take what resonates, leave what does not, knowing that as you interact with the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing down below, it does allow me an opportunity to directly connect with your energy and get you out more resonant readings. Also, if you are interested in supporting the channel further, you'll find all those links necessary below in the description box. You can email me for a personal reading. I'll get you out further information from there. You may also follow me on over to my podcast at Scatter Love Radio, which is just a fun, chill hangout session with yours truly. And I do hope to see you there. Also, if you're interested in becoming a member, there's a join button down below next to where the subscribe button is or used to be. And when you click on that, it will show you the three levels I have available as well as the options that come with each level. So I do hope to see you over on memberships. And if not, thank you so much for your continued support here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop to it and find out what is today's daily dice message what message do you have for my fellow humans? What would you like them to know? What is today's daily dice message source? Okay, so we've got the 8th house, the moon, and Libra. So something here is coming to the surface that's been hidden from your emotions, and you're going to get justice here. Okay, not only are you going to get justice, I do feel like this is also going to impact the way that you present yourself in your day-to-day -day life. Like, you're going to feel a lot more giving, a lot more loving. Not that you're not already. It's just that this is going to be deepening your sense of being able to walk in a space of unconditional love. You're going to be able to be more forthright with people, more honest with people, as well as leaving those that aren't meant for you, right? This is something that's deep underneath the surface, though, right? It's having to do with something that's very transformative, okay? <laughs> Anytime we're talking about Scorpio energy, like 8th house, Pluto, Scorpio, like we're looking at something that's changing. Even though change is hard, it's always for the better. Something here that's a death and a rebirth, so an egoic death. And with the subconscious in the moon, I do feel like this is something that's been beneath the surface that maybe you'd been unaware of, and it's coming into your awareness now, right? So here we have, it feels very dangerous to have to face this, right? Like, oh my gosh, if I actually let this go, what's going to happen? The whole of my being is going to shatter. I'm not going to be able to hold on to something that I deeply want to hold on to. And through letting it go and surrendering, you're going to find a sense of being able to find harmony and peace within. And it's going to allow you to be more easygoing in your day-to-day -day routines and your day-to-day -day life. And we're looking at healing the inner mother and healing the inner child. So this is that loving and nurturing of yourself, but also allowing more playfulness in and it is going to help you be more receptive to your intuition and your psychic abilities, okay? This is something that does need to be reflected on, all right? And when we say reflected on, we're not saying you have to spend months and months and months or weeks and weeks. This is just something to observe, reflect on, and then find a way to alter the way that you're showing up in that. So whether that's holding on to a person that's been somebody that hurt you somebody that really did you wrong or whether that is you letting go of a position or an idea or an old belief or a friendship or a situationship whatever it is it's just asking you to show up in a different place and when we say letting go you have to do what is best for you okay so let's get some oracles and see if we can kind of understand this a little bit further here source what m further messages do you have for this yeah look i cannot make this up that's what i was saying this feels like a lot of wounding a lot of pain and we have chiron that flew out on the table with hurt and heal you know this talks about the wounded warrior the wounded healer it was 444 on the clock Okay, and anytime Chiron comes up, this is a deep wound that is being brought to the surface for us to face. And that's why it feels like this is detrimental to us because it's something that 
you've built a life on and it's something that you built belief systems on and when you face the root cause and that diminishes because you're no longer afraid you're facing the fear and you're instead coming at it with courage all of the things that were built on top of that fear come crumbling down and that's why we experience the egoic death right look on the moon we are on the moon we have the bottom nice <laughs> on the bottom we do have the moon so satisfying emotional needs nurturing self and others right this could have to do with your relationships is how seven is underneath that with profound relationships intimacy and romantic partnerships which is libra energy as well so let's grab a love oracle let's just get love on the table and see what comes out in regards to that may you please have another oracle card for this reading thank you source Yeah, it could be having to let go of the idea of a certain person in your life as well. Thank you, Source. But letting go allows you to come into a place of peace and prosperity within. Letting go allows you to experience, yeah, purification with rain here. It allows you to experience that soul cleansing. What was once keeping you stuck in your journey? May please have another animal oracle. Thank you, Source. Underneath that, think on your feet. You know, when we hold on to something for so long, it's like the idea is what holds us captive, not the actual thing itself, right? So let me make sure these are still in frame. Let's see what we've got here. And so letting go of that idea sometimes becomes so, so scary. It's like, well, no, it has to be the way that I want it to be. And it's like source is trying to give you exactly what's meant for you, but you're holding on to this old belief system that no, it has to be this. It has to be this. It has to be this. And source is like, I know that's what you think that it needs to be, but I actually have something that's far better for you. But that fear is saying that if I let this go, I'm letting go of the best possible outcome for myself. And in reality, you're letting go of something that's just not growing with you anymore. But sometimes it's hard to convince ourselves of that because we've convinced ourselves that it has to be that way. Take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. And then we have number 23 up here, which is five. Five is that very uncomfortable place of change, right? Yeah, look, number 23. We have 23, 23 coming in from two decks. Do you see this? Amazing news right let source bring the news to you anytime we see ravens or crows they're messengers from the spirit realm they're able to fly both in this world and in the spirit realm bringing us messages of good hardships anything like that but i do feel like here this is the news on love this is a news on a relationship this is a news on something that will bring you newfound passion look in number seven with b spirit sweet results await Source is saying it's okay. You've been through the hardships here, right? You've healed, healed the wounded warrior, but there's some sort of belief system or some sort of belief of someone or something that's holding on here in the middle and it's difficult for you to let go of. And they're saying just face that and allow yourself to see that you deserve someone or something that's going to show up for you 100%. Like we have facing it on the bottom. I cannot make this stuff up. You know something isn't right. Don't be afraid to find out the truth. It will set you free. And then let's get a couple of love. Just just three. Let's get three of these messages out here, Source. Can we please have three oracles? Thank you. Thank you. May please have one more? May please have one more source. Thank you. Coffee cup, meeting, talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated, friend, and building friendship. And look, underneath the deck, we have talking, interested, awaiting messages, text calls, email, and talking more. So that it does, again, this does feel like someone is trying to come in to talk to you, to experience something more with you. But what are we holding on to? Escape. Love is an emotional escape for you. Be sure you're getting involved for the right reasons. So there could be this want to run away from the possibility of it being someone else in a relationship. There's this escape that's like it has it's safe for me to hold on to this other person because maybe they've ghosted you and you're waiting for them to contact you again 
or maybe they keep hurting you and you know that one day they're just going to grow out of this hurting you or whatever it is. And again, it doesn't have to be love. This could be a situation at work. This could be a situation with your family. But they are pointing to love here. That's what I keep feeling with this reading. So take it as it resonates. But it's just holding on to something so tightly and not seeing the bigger picture here. Look, twin flames. Yin and yang, balance, union and duality, complement and polar opposites. And I was going to say twin flame and I didn't because I try not to talk about twin flames. But oddly enough, Source brought it through. So maybe there's somebody here who you believe is your twin and that's fine. It's not right or wrong. I'm not here to tell you they're not your twin. I'm here to tell you that Source is saying like you're holding on so tightly right now that it's actually. What is it? It's it's pushing away the opportunity for a union and it's become an escape for you to be in solitude it's become an escape for you to be in isolation actually away from other people because oh my gosh i don't have to deal with everyone else in their bs like it's just my twin and my twin will figure it out one day but maybe it's been a long time since you've actually interacted with others and they're just saying right now you've healed so much you deserve to have someone in your life that's going to show up for you Right? Exactly. Healing heart. Healing heartbreak. Toxicity and addiction and abusive relationships. So you're healing from a lot from the past, right? But right now they're asking you to face this fear of losing out on something that it has to be and open yourself up to the possibility of who and what it might actually be. And that is so scary. And especially with the the community around twin flames so, no you have to come into union with your twin flame well only a fool thinks they know everything and if everyone is saying the same thing then we really don't know for sure who's right but the message here is clear is that source is asking you to expand your horizons just to see and who knows maybe when you let go of holding on to your twin flame so tightly and you're talking to other people and enjoying life and enjoying connections just for the sake of connection who knows maybe you're going to open yourself up to receiving your twin flame but sometimes you have to try different things because the things that we've been trying for so long aren't working all right so I love you. This is what I have for you. If you feel like this is your message, say, leave a little heart emoji down below. Let's do a pink heart. Leave a little pink heart down below and say, I let go of how I thought it had to be so I can open up to the endless possibilities. And leave me a thumbs up, and I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and get on out of here. I do want to take a quick second to thank your guides, your spirit messengers, your angel source, and my guides for coming together to give us this message. And until next time, stay human. Bye.